Rudy here, and welcome to Oxygen Not Included. Today, we're going to deal with the most dire threat that our colony is facing, and that is a threat of overheating. Looking at the temperature overlay, you can see we have quite a bit of heat coming into our base. Of course, most of it's our own fault. We have these batteries here. Uh, we don't have any sort of insulation down here, so all the heat is just coming up into our base. And we are pumping extremely warm oxygen into the bowels of our base. This oxygen is coming at 46 degrees Celsius. You know, the electrolyzers, they produce very hot oxygen. In fact, if the electrolyzers get up to temp, you know, they get up to 70 degrees Celsius, then the oxygen, the oxygen they produce is 70 degrees Celsius, and the duplicates just don't like that. So we're going to work on a cooling solution. Now, we're not going to do anything too terribly fancy today. I would like to make a whole setup using thermoregulators, but our base just doesn't really have the resources to handle the electricity cost of thermoregulators, and it would be a somewhat complicated system to set up. We'll do that in the near future, but for this episode, I think we're just going to use the natural cooling potential of an ice biome to cool down our oxygen. So all we need to do is we need to just pump the... pump our oxygen instead of into the base, we'll just take a detour all the way into the ice biome, let the oxygen snake around, and then it'll come back into the base being super cooled. Also, we will build uh, abyssalite tiles down here to defend our base from all the heat coming from down here, and we will plant some weasworts here and there and a bit to help uh, destroy some of the heat in the base. So let's get this going. First, we'll need to actually get into the ice biome. In fact, there's an anti-entropy thermal nullifier here, which is a great cooling device but we won't need to utilize that at the moment. And we'll let the duplicates work on that. Also, another thing I would like to do is actually create a passive cooling jacket that will surround our electrolyzer units and keep them cool that way, you know? It, it'll just help a little bit. So we need to lay some groundwork for that. We need to deconstruct some things to make room. Some things. We, I think we can just deconstruct all of this, in fact. I had sort of started constructing this cooling jacket over here, but I never quite finished it due to uh, just lack of need, really. So where are my diggers? Uh, they're dealing with this here. Ooh, some ladders. We found a ladder entombed in the ice. A ladder constructed of neutronium. That is one hell of a ladder. And we just acquired one wheeze wart. And we will acquire more. Okay, so let's maybe... Let's set up what we're going to do here. So we need some... Gas pipes. We can construct these pipes out of granite, I suppose. And we're going to make, like, a snaking radiator type of thing. It's gonna go up and come down. And that should hopefully be good to get us started. If we need to add more segments to our radiator, it'll be no big deal. Eventually, of course, all the heat that we're pumping into this biome will melt it, and it'll no longer be useful. But by then, we should be in a position to... We should be in a position to make a, a more permanent cooling solution. Okay, our main construction is done with our radiator. All we need to do is just hook it into our oxygen system and we'll be all set. So this is all granite pipes right here. Or, what do we make? 
Yeah, granite pipes. So let's continue using granite pipes for the moment. Uh, we're going to go, I guess, to about there, how about? And for the rest of the way, we're going to use abyssalite pipes, because I don't want the, the temperature of our oxygen getting interfered with until we hit the radiator or until we leave the radiator. So let's see, we're going to have to... Let's see, where do we need... Okay, yeah, we just need to go straight up, and we need to get into this oxygen trunk, send it away, and then it'll come back cool and refreshed for duplicate consumption. So that's our input. And this is our output. Very nice. And then all we need to do is uh, deconstruct that bit of wire, that bit of uh, gas pipe right there. I mean, what are gas pipes but wires for gas, right? And so that's going to be a bit of a project for them to get done. We'll see how long it takes them to do that. Well, while the duplicates are working on that, we can plan out our next move here. So what we need to do is we need to deconstruct all of these farm tiles. We're going to replace them with abyssalite tile to help protect our base from all the heat that's being generated down here in the nether regions. So we can just flat out replace these tiles with abyssalite. Uh, these tiles are already abyssalite because we used to have crops here that we were trying to uh, keep warm. And we need to deconstruct all of these farm tiles. So let's get our handy deconstruct. We will deconstruct all of these. In fact, let's deconstruct that tile too. Let's get our ladder down here. All right, so there's a fair bit of things going on. Okay, also, yeah, this uh, water sieve generates a lot of heat as well. We might want to think of moving it somewhere where we can keep it insulated. Actually, we could just move it right down here. I mean, why not? We can worry about that a little bit later though. Uh, it would definitely be nice to... It would be beneficial for us to put some wheeze warts in our base. In fact, let's add some more airflow tiles. Might be good to have these. Don't need to go overboard, but a few more here and there couldn't hurt. Especially in the bathroom. We need more... Because we, we have all this cool oxygen that we're going to be pumping into our base. We want to be able to circulate it around. So... Let's plant some flower pots down here, how about? Let's put one there. We can even put one in the bathroom. Let's deconstruct that painting. We're going to need to make room. And let's uh, deconstruct this cot. Lindsay, you're going to need to find a new bed because we're going to put a wheeze wart in there. Some more airflow tiles. Well, I guess I'll just let the duplicates work for a while. The oxygen is now on its way, on its long journey into the ice biome at 47 degrees Celsius. It has quite a ways to go. And depending on the output temperature on the other end, we can extend this radiator or even contract it. It gives us a lot of options, a lot of options for the near term. There's another crazy device up here as well. Okay, so the oxygen is coming out at 21 degrees Celsius. That is not bad. Not bad for a first attempt, I suppose. And what's happening here? Oh, man. Oh, it thinks I'm trying to pump oxygen into the anti-entropy nullifier. But that is not correct at all. You're supposed to pump hydrogen into those things, but I'm I'm trying to just pump past. Okay, let's, uh, let's fix that. We'll just dip around. Come on, guys, get that fixed. All right, we're back in business. A little detour. Okay, well, 21 degrees Celsius is good, but I think I would like to make it even colder, simply because, I mean, we're trying to cool down our base. Uh, our base is quite warm. It'd be nice to get a bit of a head start. We can actually plant some wheeze boards. So by making the O2 even cooler, uh, that'll help. Deconstruct that painting and build a flower pot. So we're going to, I'm just going to extend this radiator even more. 
And while they're working on that, let's take a look. Oh, here comes the, the duplicate team. They're doing their jobs. All right, so while they are working on that, let's take a look at this. Ah, okay, so they've gone ahead and did it. They really did it this time. Let's replace all of this with abyssalite tile. I'm not sure why they did not deconstruct these particular tiles. I guess they just haven't gotten around to it. We can up the priority on that, though. And that will create a nice barrier between us and the the heat. And look at that. These wheeze warts are already making a difference with their chilly breath. We have no other wheeze warts to plant. We'll need to find a third wheeze wart. So, I mean, the thing is, wheeze warts suck in air from the top. Or they suck in air from the bottom and they release at the top. So, what, what this, what's happening here is these wheeze warts will just, you know, suck up air, propel it upwards, and it'll get cooler and cooler as it goes. Which will make for a very exciting effect. A very exciting cooling effect. We can even put some airflow tiles down there. Behold, the Radiator Mark II. We now have oxygen coming out at 10 degrees Celsius, so that'll be good. That'll help to cool down the base, which has already become quite warm, and then eventually this entire area will heat up, and then uh, the cooling effect won't be so bad, or so major. And you can already see that our uh, Abyssalite barrier has made a clear delineation between the hot uh, bottom regions and the cooler top regions. So what is next on our list? I think our ventilation can perhaps use a bit of a rework. I don't think we need to be sending so much O2 down to our exosuits. We want to keep most of the O2 within the base, so ideally we won't even need to use this uh, algae deoxidizer if we can just keep all the, o the majority of the O2 within the base. So I'm going to rework our internal vent system a bit. Okay, let's take a look at the ventilation overlay here. What I've done here is I'm going to deconstruct all of these O2 pipes, and we're going to have this O2 come in here. It's going to basically split off at each level for the different vents on that particular level. And using valves, we can maybe distribute the O2 supply so it sort of goes to all the floors evenly, or maybe we can favor the bottom floor considering the fact that oxygen rises and CO2 sinks. So that might be fine. At the very least, it'll make things a bit more organized, which is something I've been wanting to do for a while now. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. So because of the way that the uh, O2 pathing works, basically half of it's going to split off at this intersection and go to this lower level. The The remaining half will split off over here. So by the time you get up here, you only, you only have one-eighth of the O2, and whatever left over will end up going to our exosuits. So now what we have planned is the actual construction of this uh, cooling system that I've been talking about to keep our electrolyzers nice and cold. So actually to do this, we're going to need a bunch of refined iron. So I'm going to start queuing that up. What we're going to do is we're going to make a basically an envelope around these two units, fill them up with hydrogen, and then we're going to stuff it full of wheeze warts. And we're going to put metal tile around here so that the wheeze warts will cool the hydrogen. And then that coldness will... Uh, cool down the electrolyzers. If we can keep the electrolyzers cold, then the O2 they produce will also be cold, and it'll just make it easier to get that temp that oxygen down to the right temperature that we desire. It's starting to take shape. We have the area enclosed in abyssalite. I've managed to plant two warts so far. We have a high-pressure vent, which we're going to use to pump in the hydrogen when it's all complete. So I'm still trying to get some more wart seeds. I've located a couple up here in this ice biome, so I'm just trying to get up there. It's going to be a little while. A lot of a lot of work to get through all this. I guess we can set it to priority 7. It doesn't need to be 9. But they'll all just get it done sooner than later. Yes, Charlemagne, our great miner. Okay, we got four wheeze warts in place. I haven't really found many more wheeze warts. Uh, there are some, but they're very difficult to get to. But I would like to proceed to the next phase of this construction project. So we're going to take metal tiles. We're going to make them out of iron ore. They have high thermal conductivity. 
and we're going to replace these tiles with iron tiles, which will allow the heat, the coldness of the warts to penetrate into these systems. Also, it'll, it'll let the heat radiate out. You know, it, it'll just allow the entire system to balance temperature-wise, and hopefully it'll be cooler because we it'll be surrounded by cold hydrogen. So we'll let them get that going. Already you can see that the wheeze warts are making the area chillier. We just need to construct tiles here that will allow the temperature to change and switch around. All right, so I've been busy with this for a while. There are just a couple more things we need to do. We need to construct a ventilation pipe that'll bring the hydrogen to the high pressure vent, and we just need to close off this area. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna build a couple more iron tiles. I'm not gonna build the entire thing out of iron because, well, I can't even reach some of these tiles, for example. So, I mean, what's the point of trying to make the entire thing iron? So, you know, whatever. We just need some iron to aid in the thermal transfer of energy. So they'll have those pipes constructed in a couple seconds there. And then we will seal off this room. Of course, if we need to get back in here again, we'll be able to. It'll be no big deal. All right, so the hydrogen setup is complete. Now the final task is to build some abyssalite tiles to close off this entire area. And hopefully no one's going to get stuck in here. So if ever we need to get access to this room, we can just crack it open, build an airlock, you know. Some hydrogen will get out, there'll be some heat exchange, but no big deal. Alright, so... Why are you guys sweeping? I guess it's because I told you to sweep. Well, don't worry about it, just leave it. Oh, those damn duplicates! The freaking Caesar got himself stuck in here, that is so stupid. It would have been the easiest thing to avoid, but nope. You just had to get yourself stuck in there. At least you got some oxygen for a little while. Do you want to live in there for the rest of your life? Okay, let's try this again. It's impossible to close off a room without at least one duplicate getting stuck in there. So don't feel bad if it happens, because it's going to happen. Okay, good, we did it. So yeah, all the hydrogen will just get en end up in this room. Uh, the hydrogen will get super cooled by the uh, wheeze warts, and hopefully that'll keep things nice and cold. And it seems like there's some kind of oxygen backup. What is going on here? I don't know what the issue is. Yeah, it's because the oxygen has become backed up over here. I need to open up this valve a bit. All right, there we go. So now that the, like, whenever the oxygen gets to an intersection where it needs to make a decision about how much of a pack to send one way or another way, there's like a brief pause, which causes the entire system to jitter and lose efficiency. So now we have more, a more free flowing oxygen effect. And already we can see the cooling effect taking effect. And it's going to take a while for this thing to actually decrease in temperature. It may never get too cold. But at least the Weezworts will be here to destroy some of the heat being produced by the electrolyzers. And so the oxygen coming out of here will be that much more cooler, and it'll be that much more easier to cool down. So we no longer need to be manufacturing iron, although we'll probably need more later. And where the heck did all this water come from? Alright, let's mop this up. So let's take a look at our thermal overlay. Things are getting better. The wheeze warts are helping. We can see around these vents, things are starting to cool down. We still are getting a lot of heat from our water sieve and from these uh, power transformers. We can probably isolate all of that with more abyssalite walls. And we're going to get a ton of heat from over here. But for now, for the moment, we've really stemmed the most biggest threats to us heat-wise. Well, I think we've done good work today. We've stopped a potential disaster before it became a problem. Well, that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment letting me know what you think. And I hope to see you next time for more Oxygen Not Included.